New at 6 all week long, we are inviting you to join us for National News Literacy Week. The Scripps Literacy Program works hard every year to combat misinformation inside our own communities. Two years ago, we invited students at Groves High School in Birmingham to join the movement. Our top mission is to pave the way for future journalists. And that means teaching young people to care before they share any information with the public. Now, the results have been incredible. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette shows us how the next generation of journalists are preparing to pursue the truth and demand accountability. The award-winning journalism program and news magazine scripter here at Groves High School is making a huge difference in the community already by combating misinformation and asking tough questions of those in power. It usually starts from a rumor that I hear that I want to dig deeper into. For high school senior Joelle Allen, lessons learned about news literacy impact every facet of reporting. And she's written articles on a wide range of topics for the school's award-winning news magazine. When I think of journalism today, I instantly think about politics and how there are a lot of biases. And as a news feature journalist, I really work hard not to editorialize. I'm interviewing people in Detroit. I'm asking them to talk about topics like environmental injustice. Two years ago, as part of Channel 7's news literacy campaign, we partnered with students here at Groves High School, teaching them the process of conducting interviews, writing, editing, and presenting stories that offer all sides of an issue with diverse perspectives. They've put together remarkable stories and are now sharing how they've continued to build on the experience. Every trimester I'm working on either one or multiple stories about things going on in the community. I've won a few awards for writing, which is amazing, and that's honestly never something I expected. Senior Caden Myers is focused on combating misinformation and tackling topics like threats against schools by asking both students and staff members difficult questions. Exploring all the sides rather than just one person, I talked to multiple people. English teacher Laura Redman was heavily involved in the collaboration with Channel 7 and says today the need for trusted reporting is greater than ever. All the misinformation is out there and that's what everyone's believing. She points to students facing challenges in gathering information. We won first place in journalism from the American Scholastic Press Association and they put in their letter um, that they were really impressed at how my students, even though it was a pandemic, got out and interviewed such a variety of people. But always recognizing the need to focus on fairness, facts, and only using sources that can be trusted. What they learned is they have to be credible because they're changing people's lives and, and they're giving them new viewpoints. Graduate Zach Coleman now works as a climate correspondent for Politico. How has your time here at Groves shaped the journalist that you are today? It let me write, it let me actually ask questions of people who are higher up. I just try to create a safe space for people who follow me and to put accurate information out there and hopefully get amplified. He also avoids battles on Twitter and giving more attention to those simply looking to spread misinformation. When they're looking at stories or looking at information, they're able to look at it with a critical eye. Another leader, Dr. Mbeka Roberson, the district's superintendent, led the way in the partnership with our station. She attributes the success of this effort to a better understanding of the crucial role of journalism in society and its effect on how we view the world. The students always look to having both sides of the story represented to make sure that they're, the uh, story is balanced. Doing the stories uh, with Channel 7 and just continuing with their teacher, Mrs. Redman, uh, really sparked their interest. While those young journalists are eager to get started on their own next chapter, they tell us they'll definitely be back to mentor younger students here at Groves High School. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. How about that? So very positive. Thank you, Simon.